Okay, let's run through an example of creating a program logic for a program where we're given a problem statement. Uh, so our problem statement reads like this. Create a program to calculate the pay amount for an employee given the number of hours worked for that employee and their hourly wage. Um, one thing I want to introduce at this point is a new tool called an IPO chart. And from reading the problem statement, it just helps you sort out what am I given, what are my inputs, um, what are my outputs, in other words, what do I need to give back to the user, uh, and then the process in between, how do I do that? So given this problem statement, let's look at our IPO chart. And we're going to fill in the values for the input, the process, and the output just to keep things clear while we're doing our, our statement. Now keep in mind this problem is fairly simple. We'll do another one later uh, that is more complicated and um, you can see the value of the IPO chart from that. But we'll start out with a simple one just to try it out. Okay, we need to figure out what our inputs are. So what are we given from this problem statement? Okay, the number of hours worked and their hourly wage are our two inputs. So we'll fill that in on the chart. Okay, so we put in our two inputs, hours worked and hourly wage. Now we'll go and find what our output is supposed to be. And we see here we're supposed to calculate uh, the amount of pay, or we could say the total pay. So we'll fill that into our IPO chart. And we may actually do the inputs, outputs, and then the process. You could actually do your outputs first, then inputs. Uh, but just keeping things straight. We now need to put in our process. In other words, from the inputs we have, how do we get the output that we need? And we'll do that with an assignment statement. So total pay equals hours work times the hourly wage. Okay, now we're ready to begin uh, coming up with the logic for our algorithm. We'll, we'll go over to Visual Logic for that. Okay, first our inputs. Okay, so we'll add our two inputs. We'll put our first one in. And checking our IPO chart, hours worked. Okay, if I can type this, hours worked. And then for our second input, let's put in hourly pay. Okay, the next step would be to create the assignment statement. And so we'll put in total pay is what we're calculating is equal to the expression on the right. Hours work times hourly wage. Okay, which was our process on our IPO chart. Now, I don't know if you noticed this before, but I didn't check my IPO chart. I put in hourly pay instead of hourly wage. That wouldn't do, work too well in our solution. So there's one example, even in, in this simple problem, if, if you didn't catch that, um, that could be a problem uh, in our program if it doesn't exactly match what we wrote down. Uh, our algorithm wouldn't work. The computer wouldn't understand that. Okay, and here in our final step, the output, total pay, the literal string, and total pay. Okay, we should go back in 
beginning and put in some user-friendly input statements. Remember to put those in quotes. So enter the hours worked. And one for the hourly wage. And let's run it. Let's try some easy numbers, 20 hours. Okay. Uh, let's say $10 an hour. Total pay is 200. So it did what we wanted it to do. It did the calculation. Another thing I wanted to show you is the stepping process. So no, notice under debug step, we brought up a list of variables here that we're actually using. So this is kind of giving us an insight into what's going on in the memory. Um, notice one of the quirky things about uh, Visual Logic, it, it does have an extra variable in there for the one I typed in uh, in error. So we'll, we'll go through here, we're putting our hours worked again, 20 hours, notice it shows up in, in the memory over here, so we're, we're getting a what we call watch variables in the memory, so we're watching what the actual values are at this point. So we'll put in our hourly wage, 10 again, click OK, and notice over in the hourly wage variable, it shows up. So we have our, our current value uh, showing in this watch window. Okay, we take our next step, it calculates our total pay. And one last step. Notice you can also hit the F8 key to do this. Um, I figured for this video I'd hit debug um, and click in the step into so you knew it was clearer uh, what I'm doing here. Okay, so now we got our output statement total pay is 200. And that concludes our demo.